Here we are at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, powered by Red Arc. And we're about to go back to basics and check out a soft floor camper. Let's see what the other judges think of the Marlin Ultimate Explorer. Marlin Explorer Ultimate. It's a traditional style of camper. You know, harks back to the original days of literally a trailer with a tent on top. So what sort of person's gonna buy it and how they're gonna use it, Kath? Well, when we first met Steve from Marlin back in 2020, I mean, his target audience was clearly that sort of budget constrained family looking for that quality Australian product, authentic sort of camping experience without the traditional discomforts. While the camper that we saw this year remains true to those roots, it's very clear that this Marlin Ultimate Explorer has its sights set on another camping market. And that's those who are prepared to expend that, just that little bit of extra money to get those added quality components to make their time in the great outdoors just that little bit more pleasant. Marlin is now a genuine alternative. It's a box trailer, which means you can pack what you want inside it. It's a massive payload. What stood out to you, Dan, in terms of um, self-sufficiency? It's just that monumental space. You know, the trailer itself is quite pared down. It's only got 120 litres of drinking water. Uh, you know, it's only got 100 amp hours of lithium, but it's all really, really usable. You know, the, the Red Arc Go Block system, it just sits there. There's not too many campers here, but you can pull the entire electrical system out, put it in the back of your ute, and take it to the kids' soccer game. You can look at it and go, oh, it'd be nice if it had more water. That's fine, put it in. Here's a spot where you put it in. You know, it's all very much in that DIY market again, which is great to see. It has that insulated roof, which I thought was really good. So longer hot days, there is a noticeable difference between touching the awning outside and the inside of the tent. But um, Glenn, in terms of other comforts, what sort of stood out to you? What stood out for me was the speed with which he can now set up to do an easy camp. You can pull up uh, four minutes, bang in four pegs, jump in, and then you've got a massive bed and massive space inside. This one optioned up being the ultimate. Um, even had a country comfort hot water system. So if you are at a holiday park with endless water, it's got enough gas capacity, so you could just you know, let rip and let the kids keep showering away. And the low pressure cooker, so it's just changed to a different cooker in the kitchen, which I thought was a nice touch in terms of um, gas use and in terms of actually BTUs for, for heating. When you used to buy a soft floor camper, you'd, you'd be using 45 poles. It would take you two and a half hours to set up. By that time, the kids are ripping you up your ankles and all that. But with this one now, he's just made that so much easier. And he's, it's one of his focuses, I think, is that he, he wants to kill that old chestnut of whenever you see a soft floor, it's hard to set up. This one is very si simple. It comes with an annex as standard. There was still a good couple of dozen poles. But if you lift that annex at home, yeah, you're right, that setup is a, a cakewalk. You've got seven poles in it but to me that's still seven too much. If you can figure that out, I reckon we could be up for a resurgence of the old soft floor. Do you think it was a well-finished camper? I did find that the actual trailer itself, the construction of it, when you really start looking at the details, it's really well finished. You know, the paint, the hammer tone paint is done intentionally because it's robust. And when you drive it into a tree, you can fix it at home. But the tent is beautiful. There's not a seam out of place with it. That drifter kitchen too is just, it's stunning. This eats into the storage, but you, you get so much more back in terms of usability. Yeah, a heap of bench space, which really stood out to me. Because we know that in that camper, there's a lot of space to put bunks and whatnot. And you could sleep, you know, four kids in that side, two adults up top, which means you need a big kitchen. So yeah, you're right, that drifter kitchen in that ultimate with the extended bench top space, I thought was pretty good. The quality of the canvas and the stitching, like that looks like a tent that's gonna last you a lifetime. It's a box trailer that you can take anywhere. Like there's no way you could go that you could not pull that behind you. Yeah. I'd comfortably, if no one was looking, take this through a Macca's drive-thru. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just on, on towing it. So we towed it with a, an Isuzu, which you could tow this thing with a Camry, oh. Falcon, Commodore, whatever you wanted. Um, so towing is no problem. If you are taking it off-road though, you do want to take the stuff that you're a bit worried about out of the camp and put it in the back of the car because the box trailer will bounce around a little bit on the slipper springs. Look, you can tow that thing anywhere you want. And you also have the ability to throw stuff on top of the bed before you put the cup on as well. So that gives you added storage as well. You know the beautiful thing too that uh, Steve said to me, he said, you can still take the whole camper component off and you just use it as your box trailer to go to the tip. I've seen a few Marlins over the years now, and this one comes in at a little under 20 grand which makes it by far the most expensive marlin I've seen. And then he's had a lot of growth in terms of cost of material, so I can see where it's coming from. I do think it's not bad value for money, but it is now creeping into cross-shopping it against some of the import Ford folds. It's not as strong on a value for money as it was in the past, 
but I do think the inclusions are good inclusions, it's just whether you want them or not. I think you'd struggle to get a better camper for 20 grand. Steve is another one of the smaller companies in Australia that'll sell on Sunday, make on Monday. For me, the X Factor is again, it's a very thoughtful, um, thoughtful build process and design. So Kath, last year's model looked almost the same. What's innovative about this year's? The Marlin Explorer Deluxe, it's offering incremental rather than radical changes. Uh, what was surprising was to see the, the Red Arc Go Block. I mean, that's a fairly new product out of Red Arc, and I mean, to see a 100 amp power of lithium, 50 amp fast charger, solar regulation, bunch of really useful connections and then the fact that Steve has then partnered those with a number of internal and external outlets that weren't there last year. There's lots of improvements, you've just got to look for them. When I spoke to Steve about it, he said, if you look closely, you'll find there's 19. They're all small, but they're all intended to make this camping experience just that little bit easier. That is the Marlin Ultimate Explorer at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Red Arc. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And this year, we've got 11 campers in total. So if you want to watch 10 more videos, follow down to our channel and enjoy.